hi again so welcome to another video so this is basically one of the most important videos in my youtube channel why because i'm going to teach you some basics very important basics that every technician or specialist should know so if you are a laptop or a computer specialist you should know this terminology i will of course explain to you this terminology and details and also one of the most important table that you can find of course in laptop schematics or computer schematics this is basically the power signals or as we have here power and ground signals okay so uh, let's begin first with this table where we have terminology i will explain to you all step by step because as i told you before i know that the majority of my followers are beginners that's why sometimes i can repeat two or three times if it could be three times i can repeat repeat a tips or an information in order to understand it clearly okay please before diving into this video make sure you subscribe hit the bell icon because i only help you if you subscribe to my to my channel and also for anyone who, who want to join me in my patreon page or want to support the channel you are very welcome you will find all links in the description box so thank you very much and let's get started so the first table where we have basically some terminology important very important terminology uh, because if you don't know about this terminologies and this name uh, for signals and power rails you cannot understand the schematic okay so to understand the schematic and the circuits within the schematic you should first understand this stuff okay so let's get started so the first here basically these are pages okay here for this schematic we have 40 pages of course i will uh, upload this schematic to my Patreon page and feel free to download it of course for free okay so the first page always for any schematic you will find the block diagram as you can see schematic block diagram where you will find as i told you before do an an a general overview about the interconnection between between motherboard parts i mean big parts like the processor chipsets sio hdd odd etc okay so here of course the second page basically will find some system information that you can use of course along the schematic so here three we have the system power block diagram okay we have the schematic block diagram and the system power block diagram so basically the system power block diagram is like this table okay depending in the type of the laptop or the schematic then the first or the main important uh, i mean component in every motherboard we have the cpu we'll find the cpu and of course next to the cpu always we have the thermal sensor means a component exactly it is like a capacitor i mean and we called it a tantalum capacitor it's a tantalum capacitor behind the cpu that sends and control or monitor the temperature where the temperature increase so the processor send a control signal to the fan in order to speed up okay uh, and to cool down the processor okay and so this is basically the process and when the temperature is low or decrease it send it send of course another control signal to uh, slow down the fan okay so then we have 
basically here this is the north bridge its name is cross line and here we have the ICH ICH means input output control hub the ICH we called it sometimes the salt bridge okay so basically the salt bridge is the chipset that controls all ports and connectors within a motherboard all ports that you can find in the motherboard including usb ports uh, for example hdmi ports or vga ports uh, so network rg45 ports etc all that ports are connected and connectors are controlled by the ach as you can see or, or ich okay then we have the ddr ram or the ram so depending in the type of the computer you can find ddr1 as i told you before any ram or every ram has its own voltage for example for ddr1 the voltage is 2.5 volt for vdd the main voltage and for vtt or the voltage for terminals should be the half of 2.5 volt means 1.25 volt okay for ddr2 the voltage is 1.8 volt for ddr3 the voltage is 1.5 volt ddr4 the voltage is 1.2 volt and of course the vtt should be 0.6 volt and for ddr5 a very enhanced and improved memory the voltage is 1.1 volt and of course the vtt should be 0.55 volt okay so this is basically for voltages uh, we gonna of course see in the future videos I mean, I will make a, a separate video where I will uh, teach you and explain to you the memory and of course I will break down the memory and the memory voltages and where you can test and check these voltages uh, in the memory, I mean the test point, okay? So then we have here, as you can see, the, the clock generator. The clock generator basically always you will find it near to the processor. So for the clock generator, the purpose of the clock generator is to generate the timing or the synchronization for all components in the motherboard. All components, I mean the big components like the CPU, the note bridge, the salt bridge, the graphic card, the super IO, RAM, the BIOS, etc. Okay, so without this synchronization, without the timing, the motherboard cannot work properly. Okay, so it, it will be, uh, I mean, uh, without the timing or synchronization, uh, we will get misunderstanding. Okay, so the the the, the component cannot understand each other and synchronize between each other okay so that's why the clock generator uh, is a very important component in every motherboard we have the lcd connector so the lcd connector is the connector that that uh, trans transfer or that uh, yes transfer the signals the video signals to the monitor or to the lcd monitor the one or sim card connector this is basically for sim card connector sometimes we don't find this kind of connector in some laptops so then we have the card bus controller so it's not basically important we have the audio codec and the audio jack so basically for the audio within every any motherboard you will find of course there is a control ic okay for audio circuit when you have a problem for example in any jack for audio you should check that i see of course i will show you all this in the motherboard so after this video i will try to show for you and showcase for you all these components that we cover here in a real motherboard okay so we have audio codec of course controller we have the lan 
transformer so for the LAN we have the KBC the KBC basically is, is the, the keyboard controller or we call it sometimes the SIO or super input output this is a very important IC or control this control basically controls the power within a motherboard so if you have a problem with the power you should always pay attention to this kind of IC so we have the CRT port or uh, we find basically CRT ports we find HDMI port LVDS port etc so this is basically uh, for uh, video signals we have the HDD or a hard disk drive but for the advanced or enhanced laptops or even computers will find SSD or solid state drive and CD-ROM we call it sometimes the ODD or optical desk drive so we have the fan, the keyboard, the LEDs okay, and track point so all these are controlled by the ICH as I told you before so including the HDD, the fan the USB and also Bluetooth fingerprint, MTC and TPM, the power frequency and BIOS, the cable docking, all these are controlled by the ICH. Okay, so we have the discharge. The discharge basically means ground because, as you know, there is many types of ground. We have the analog ground, the digital ground, etc. So for this charge, we should make a separate video where we can speak about, uh, we will, where we will learn about grounds, the type of grounds, the chassis grounds, the, the, the analog grounds and the digital grounds. This is basically uh, a very, a very important, of course, uh, tutorial that I'm going to teach you in the future then we have the charger so all this basically are power system so the charger we have max 1908 or or 8724 this is basically the charge IC we have here max 1999 this is basically the 3 volt point the 3 volt 5 volts always control IC and we have here the max 1992 this is for the ram so this is basically the ic on the control ic that generates the necessary voltage for the ram we have 1.8 volt because we have ddr2 so the main voltage is 1.8 volt and the vtt or the voltage as you can see here we have v terminal okay VTT or voltage for terminal will be the half of 1.8 volt means 0.9 volt. We have also here max 1540. This basically generate the VCCP or 1.05 volt for chipsets and also 1.5 volt for chipsets. And we have the max 87 36. So this is a big IC. This IC is the control IC for the CPU. Okay, okay, for the CPU. This is a big IC that generates the necessary voltage for the CPU based on IDs because for every CPU it has a specific voltage and how we can know the voltage necessary for the, the this CPU based on CPU IDs. Okay. So then we have here the 3 volts, 3 volts, so it's 5. This is basically the state, the states. Uh, we're gonna also see all these in details because I cannot go in for each signal here or each terminology go deeper because every terminology here I should basically uh, made a separate video for everyone here for example for the key bc the keyboard control this is a very huge ic that this is the ic basically that is the responsible the, the, the first responsible in every motherboard for the power to generate and to manage the power in the whole motherboard so we should basically made for it a separate video about 20 minutes or even 30 minutes okay 
then we have the power sequence also the power sequence like this for example this is basically the power sequence i'm going of course to teach you the power sequence uh, maybe tomorrow or after tomorrow okay because if you if you understand the sub the power sequence you, ca you can figure out uh, any problem in, in within the motherboard because we have for example adapter this is the switch after the switch the 19 volt will be distributed as you can see 19 volt will be distributed will be get, will go to this ic as you can see to this ic to generate these two voltages also to this ic as you can see here we have v in in order to get as you can see these voltages and also to this ic in order to get the cpu core okay so we will uh, let basically the power sequence for a separate video okay so now let's see the power okay so let me please see the time for so let me see so basically we have 23 about 23 minutes so maybe i will let this table for tomorrow because really to say the truth i don't like to make a very long videos because of the concentration basically 15 10 minutes or 15 minute videos is very adequate and very good so uh, and uh, i mean very reliable okay so that's it guys uh, tomorrow i will explain to you this video and maybe after tomorrow i will explain to you the power sequence and we will go step by step until you master all section or everything about how to read laptop schematics so thank you very much guys uh, i appreciate your attention and please for anyone who doesn't understand anything in this video you can just ask me in the comment below and if you have any suggestion any question uh, please don't hesitate to to put it down in the comment below and please don't forget to subscribe share the video and like the video and please for anyone who want to join me in my pages you are very welcome so see you in the next video